Hey, what's up guys? This is Clint Lash with CrushTheDocs.com and for today's strategy concept I'm going to be talking about something pretty simple. That's just taking notes at the table. Um, I was actually kind of surprised recently in terms of doing a lot of coaching sessions and talking to players and find that not a lot of players are actually taking notes at the table. Um, even if you're using a HUD, it's extremely important that you're taking specific notes on players' tendencies to get a better idea of their game. Um, so what I'm going to go through are some quick and easy uh, strategies or uh, considerations to, to keep in mind when you're playing and taking notes and what to look for and maybe just how to set up something really simple if you're not already taking notes so that you can play a more consistent game, a more knowledgeable game based upon the players at the table. So some quick tips. Um, you want to abbreviate your notes. You know, everybody plays a different amount of tables. Some people play four tables, eight tables, twenty tables. Um, either way, you want to make it quick and simple so that you're not focused on typing at the, you know at the actual table. So you'll see here when um, EP AI nine eight off ten BB. So what does that actually mean? This might have been an example of seeing a player shove from early position. AI is all in with the hand 9-8 off suit for 10 big blinds. So typically shoving 10 big blinds from early position with 9-8 off is not going to be a good play. Um, so that would be something that you want to take note of. And for early early position, I'll abbreviate it EP, middle position MP. And this is something that you might want to take a note of because you'll see in the next point here is that you want to start taking notes of things that seem out of the ordinary. Um, where you see players make a play that you don't expect them to make. And furthermore, that this note will allow you to exploit that player in the future. Um, you could certainly want to be taking notes on everybody at the table. It's definitely more important probably to take notes on guys that you're seeing every single day. Certainly take notes on everybody, like I said, but if they're like a random player, a fishy player, you don't have a whole lot of hands on them, you might not ever see those guys again. Um, you should still take notes on them if you see them do something ridiculous or something that will allow you to get an advantage over them. But you really want to take notes on guys that you're seeing every single day. And if they do something that you don't expect, take a note so that you know how to exploit that tendency later. Um, another thing that you can do in terms of taking notes, even besides doing it at the table, is use your Hold'em Manager or Poker Tracker database. After the game, especially if you're playing 20 tables or after your sessions, go ahead and go through your, your hands, search for the players that you're playing against and start filtering for different situations, all in situations, three betting situations. Start taking notes after the fact um, about what players are doing. And this can give you a ton of very specific information that you can then use at the tables to your advantage. Now, in addition to taking notes, you also want to have a color coding system to go along with that. Again, especially if you're multi tabling, it's so easy to just see colors of different types of players so that you get a quick idea of who's to your left or who's who you're up against. Like I said before, having HUD stats is one thing and that'll be really helpful and the more information you have the better, but any further notes that you have on specific players or on their specific hands will further enhance your knowledge of the table as well. Now you can also use a program like NoteCaddy, I didn't mention that earlier. NoteCaddy is something that a lot of players are using, people love it. Um, it's it's quick, easy, automatic note taking depending upon what you want to take notes on. Um, so you can use that, or again, you can use a manual note taking system like I described earlier. Here's something that I used to do, you know, when I was playing a ton of tables. I actually put together a more elaborate color coding system based upon more of the specific player tendencies. But if you're not color coding, maybe here's something quick and easy to put into your game. I would just label the bad players, the fishy players, as green. You know, these are the guys that are going to be spewing their chips typically all over the place. Um, so it's nice to know who they are at the table. Purple is the wild card. What's a wild card? It's a player that maybe isn't a winning player, but they're not a losing player either. They have an idea what's going on, but quite simply, they probably have some leaks in their game. So you want to figure out what those leaks are so that you can make, uh, you know, so that you can start making notes on, on maybe what specifically they're doing wrong in their game. And next to our reg and top reg, orange and dark orange or red, um, reg is just you know a good, solid winning player. Top reg is probably the, the, the top players in your games, the guys with the highest RRIs, the guys that are probably playing a more exploitable type of game as well. 
that are capable of more elaborate plays. So it's just nice to know who the players are at the table. And and again, I've gone on in the members portal, made some other videos in terms of putting together a more elaborate color coding system on using more colors and uh, more specific definitions of players. But this can be something that if you're not doing it, put into your game right away. Um, and as I said, I've made a lot of videos on this concept of note-taking and, of course, exploiting players. You can find them in the members portal. You can get access for just $7, guys. All the videos, the forum access, the community of hundreds of players. Try it out. 7 bucks, 7 days. I hope to see you inside. Message me anytime. Um, you, know, you can email me, clint at crushthedocs.com, if you have any questions. I uh, hope to see you inside the members portal, and good luck at the tables, guys.